We are given vector v has an x component of 4 and a y component of negative 2 with initial point at negative 2 comma 3. We're asked to find the terminal point. Let's first take a look at this graphically. Let's graph vector v in standard position and plot the point at negative 2 comma 3. So here we have vector v in standard position where the initial point is at the origin where the x component is 4 and the y component is negative 2. And now we want to find the equivalent vector with the initial point at negative 2 comma 3, which is this point here. We'll call this point A. Because we know the x component is 4 and the y component is negative 2, we can determine the terminal point of the vector with the initial point at negative 2 comma 3 by moving right 4 units and down 2 units. Let's go ahead and label the terminal point, point B. And now if we sketch this vector, we can see it's equivalent to the given vector v in component form. Another way to determine the terminal point of vector v, where again vector v has an x component of 4 and a y component of negative 2, is to label the initial point, point A, which again is given as negative 2 comma 3, and then label the terminal point, which again we assume is unknown, as x2 comma y2. And if we write vector v in component form, we know vector v must have an x component of x sub 2 minus negative 2, and a y component of y sub 2 minus 3, which again we know must be equal to in component form, vector v, which has an x component of 4, and a y component of negative 2. From here we can conclude that x sub 2 minus negative 2, or x sub 2 plus 2, must equal 4, and y sub 2 minus 3 must equal negative 2. And now we solve for x sub 2 and y sub 2. To solve for x sub 2, we subtract 2 on both sides. x sub 2 equals 2. Solving for y sub 2, we add 3 to both sides. y sub 2 is equal to positive 1. And notice this gives us the same point b, the terminal point of vector v, as 2 comma 1. I hope you found this helpful.